Maya Poppy Hunt Maya Hunt had always been a strong-willed and independent woman. She grew up in a remote village in the uncharted wilderness, raised by her grandmother who was the village's healer. Maya learned the art of herbal medicine and healing from her grandmother and admired her for her skills and knowledge. Maya moved to the city to pursue her dream of becoming a pharmacist. She was determined to use her knowledge of herbal medicine to help people in need. However, she faced many challenges and obstacles, as the city was a completely different world than her village. She struggled to find her place and identity in the fast-paced and competitive city life. One day, while working at the pharmacy, Maya received a call from her grandmother. She was informed that the villagers were facing a dangerous illness, and her grandmother was too old to treat it. Maya's denial and fear of losing her grandmother caused her to ignore the call and continue working. But deep down, she knew she couldn't ignore the situation forever. As the illness in the village continued to spread, Maya's guilt and inner turmoil grew. She couldn't ignore her duty to help her people and her grandmother any longer. She gathered her courage and set out on a journey back to her village. Upon reaching her village, Maya was shocked to see the devastating state it was in. People were suffering and her grandmother was on her deathbed. Maya realized that her denial and selfishness had caused this, and she vowed to do everything in her power to save her people and her grandmother. Maya worked tirelessly, using her knowledge of herbal medicine and her new skills as a pharmacist to create a cure for the illness. She also made amends with her grandmother, who was proud of her for finally embracing her roots and using her skills to help others. In the end, Maya successfully saved her village and her grandmother. She had accepted her responsibilities and her true identity as a healer. From that day on, she became known as Poppy Hunt, a nickname given by the grateful villagers who considered her a symbol of hope and healing.